Hello friends, if you're interested in making a basic amigurumi head with um, eye socket indentation and a little embroidered nose, uh, stick around and grab your hook and your yarn and I'll teach you how to do that. Okay, so today I'm using a 2.75 millimeter hook and I'm using Clover Amore hooks. And you'll need a stitch marker and some flesh colored yarn. I'm using the beige color from Hobium Yarns. This is their La Mia Cottony and it's a DK weight. And I think DK looks nice because the stitches are very small. However, you can use whichever weight you want. You can get an iron weight or worsted weight. Just make sure you read the yarn label and go maybe one or one or two hook sizes smaller than what they recommend so that you don't get holes. So, um, we're just making a general amigurumi head and I'm going to zoom in here to make sure. Let me put that down here so that I have a reference to where to put my hands. Okay, so what we will need to do is Okay, so what we all need to do is um, start with your magic ring and you do you start it however you like and put six uh, single crochets inside your magic ring. So I have one here, two, three, four, five, six. And I actually use this uh, head, this amigurumi head for nearly all of my patterns. So you can customize it however you like. And then on round two, the next round, we're going to increase all around. So that just means you put two single crochets in each stitch. So you'll have 12 total. So let's do that. And I was just thinking I should have used a thicker yarn so that it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. But I think if you have a basic idea of crochet and single crochet, I think you'll be able to do it just fine. And this is just more for a reference. Okay, so you can tighten that up if you like. So that is increased round, okay? And then the next round, you will do one single crochet. So that's your first stitch. And then you will increase into the next stitch. And you're repeating that all the way around. The next round, we will do a single crochet in the next two stitches. And you'll see a pattern emerging here. So we have one single crochet and a second single crochet and then increase into the next stitch. So one single crochet and then another single crochet and then you increase into the next stitch. So it's really fun to uh, make this, oops, let me just, it's so small, it's hard to see. Uh, it's really fun to make this uh, for any person, amigurumi. And I often use this a lot for my Ollie in space or if I make gifts for friends and I'm making an amigurumi of their kid 
and you can customize it with different colored yarns so they have warmer tones so hobium has some really great uh really great colors and they have a, a bunch of warmer toned um skin tone colors as well and i i have those as well it's really it's quite quite lovely okay so we've done that the next round we'll do three single crochets and then increase in the next so uh, in the next three stitches add a single crochet so i have one two three single crochets and then increase so as you can see it goes by pretty fast one two oops have I done here let's see one two three increase okay so okay one two three increase one two three increase one, two, three, increase, one, two, three, increase, one, two, three, increase so next round we'll do four single crochets and I always mark that first stitch because I lose track of where it is so that's one single crochet two three four increase one, two, three, four, increase. Get some more yarn. One, two, three, four, increase. One, two, three, four, increase. One, two, three, four, increase. Okay, so um, next round, we're going to do five single crochets and then an increase. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and you increase here. And then you repeat that all the way around.
so I'm just going to do one more increased round so I'm going to do six single crochets and increase so here we go here's one two three four five six That's six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's nice to check. <laughs> So as you can see with these increases, it's staying flat because we're doing increases only and no single crocheting around. So if you want a amigurumi head that is uh, wider or bigger, then you just keep those increases. So we have single crochet in each stitch. And also, uh, if you are new to crochet and you're just learning how to do any of this and you need a more um, uh, basic explanation about single crochet or magic ring, I can make a another video so you just uh, let me know in the comments. However, if you're just doing this for fun, I hope you enjoy it. And experienced crocheters out there will already know how to do this so I'm just making this for my friends who want to get into amigurumi and they don't know where to start so you know this is like a basic amigurumi head or a circle so and from there you can pretty much make anything anything you like so I'm sitting awkwardly <laughs> trying to film this. However, I think it's worth it because I'm also making these videos in case um, in the future, I don't know, maybe my son or future, future children will want to make some of the things that I make and this is a nice way to document that. And my son really loves it when I make people and so this is my standard go-to pattern okay. sometimes when I'm filming I'm sitting awkwardly so <laughs> that's me sitting awkwardly trying to film this I mean, one day I'm going to have to invest in maybe a easier way to film but for right now just using what I have okay so I've done a single crochet around and I'm going to keep doing this for seven total rounds and then I'll meet you back here okay I've done seven rounds of just single crochet in every stitch and you can see that this is the top of the head and 
uh, this is the length that we have reached so far. So if you want a longer face, you can do more single crochet around. It's up to you. I'll just do this so you can see the base pattern and see how it looks. And from here, we are starting our decreases. So you will do six single crochets. So that's my first. And let's go second, third, fourth, fifth, six. Six single crochets. And you can do a decrease or an invisible decrease. It's up to you. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see how I'm doing the invisible decreases. Put that down here so I have a reference to where where center is for me okay so you do six single crochets one two three four oops what was that that was one two three four oh my goodness hold on a second So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you want to do an invisible decrease, I'm going to get a bit closer. What I do is I go right into the front loop like that. And then I take my hook into the next front loop, like that. Yarn over and then bring it through those two front loops. And then you have two remaining. Yarn over and pull through. So that's called an invisible decrease because it's stacked instead of having that weird triangle looking thing. So that's up to you. It doesn't matter what you do. And we will keep going. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then do your decrease again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then decrease again, all the way around. One, two, three, four, decrease then one two three four five six and decrease and if you would like to add amigurumi eyes you can feel free to do so or you could just embroider it at the end and um I'll show you what I'll do after we decrease. So the next round, we're going to do five single crochets and decrease. So go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, and decrease. And then one, two, three, Four, five, and decrease. And one, two, three, four, 
five and decrease. One, two, three, four, five, and decrease. And then the next round, you will decrease, decrease after four single crochets. So you can see that the pattern is pretty straightforward. You're just going to single crochet four. <laughs> What's that four? One, two, three, four, yes. And then decrease. One, two, three, four, decrease. And then you will do three single crochets and then decrease. So we have one, one here. Two, three, and decrease. One, two, three, decrease. One, two, Decrease one, two, three, decrease. So I like to do another decrease. So we'll do two single crochets. 
one, two, and then you make a decrease. So go ahead and do that all the way around. And then you can choose to go all the way to close it, but usually I like to directly add a new color for the body. So I usually just leave a long tail so that I can weave in the ends later. And then I'll show you what I do sometimes with the face. You can choose to do this or not, but first we need to definitely stuff the head and this creates a kind of round head instead of a longer kind of oval type head so you can always do more single crochet arounds if you like so you got some stuffing and i like to fluff mine out a little bit so it doesn't get too clumpy and also it just fills up more space when you do this too so i have yes and then you go ahead and stuff And I like mine to be a little bit more stuff than this, so I'll get some more. Yes, like that. I might not even need all of this, so I'll place them to the side. I just want it to be firm, but not overly stuffed where the stitches are stretched out. And because you used a smaller hook, these stitches are nice and tight. You shouldn't be able to see the stuffing inside. You can mold it how you want. That's the great part about stuffing. So I think that's about good for me. And measurement wise, this is about a, let's see, one, two, three, four, maybe about like seven cm. Yeah, around 7 cm circumference and height. So once I do that, I like to, and I learned about indents in, into, the, into the face from my friend May. She is such a creative and inspirational designer. And um, so I learned about that from her and I'll show you what I do for my indents. I just take that long tail and I just stick it into the middle I'm going to, oh, it's already zoomed in. I'm going to go into the middle somewhere and I'm going to just pick a, pick two spots where you want the eyes to be. And I kind of want them to look like this, like the eye sockets. So I'm going to pick, pick a spot. So I like, I like this spot. And then just go about one stitch over and then bring it back down. And if you pull on it, then it will make an indent. So it's like right there. Yeah, so I like that. So I'm just gonna go to the same area, but just a little bit over. And you pick where you would like it to be. And May usually secures it in the back, but for me, I found that this is good enough. <laughs> but you should definitely do it the way you want to do it. So you just go one stitch over and bring it back down. 
and then tug it a little bit and yeah I think that looks pretty pretty good for eyes don't you think and then from here I usually then I go into the back and I try to pick a spot where the hair will be so no one will see where it is and then I just go through a stitch and I go and secure that so that those sockets stay so you it's the same way you would weave in an end you just pick a couple stitches and you know just secure it a little bit like that and since hair is covering here it doesn't really matter to me too too much and I don't want the eye sockets to be too strong anyway and then what I do from here is I go back in and I want to embroider a nose so I usually just pick a spot I want the nose and May does a beautiful French knot and I usually just do a couple so let's see I guess the nose would be here would that look more centered Maybe I'll go over one more. Anyway, you choose where you want it to go. I'll do... Will that, will that be centered? I don't know. Let's see here. Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good. And I guess my nose is about two stitches wide. And Let's see. Yeah. I just stacked three horizontal lines and you know, and you can you can squish it however you like. You can flatten the face a bit so that it is more circular. You can make it rounder by squishing the sides. So you can mold it however you like. And then you just take this and you bring it down. Oops bring it inside and find a place to secure so I'll probably secure it just through a couple stitches in the back again and, and then bring it into the stuffing here yeah, I'll just do that and so what's nice about this is that you can either embroider that the, the head or the eyes I'm sorry and the mouth if you choose to do a mouth However, um, you can also take your ungroomy eyes and I'm using, since this is a, such a small, small, oops, small head at being, uh, being that it's only around 7 cm-ish and my lighting just went, oh it's really, it's really dark here. So you can secure this with, um, craft glue and clearly this is not for children under three so if it's for babies I or kids that have choking hazards I 100% recommend you embroider the eyes so for my purposes when I'm making stories this is good enough for me when I just use some craft glue which I'm not doing now because it, it gets messy and this is I don't want to get it on my sofa but as you can see, there it is, an amigurumi head. So um, stay tuned, I will be making the body and the arms and legs and the hair very very last. So if you're interested in this, please stick around. Thank you for watching.